to the West Ham career mode here on the YouTube. It's going to be a stream. It's going to be an interesting one. Um, don't you guys worry. We are still doing the MK Don's career mode. That uh, well, A video of that will come out um, next. Well, so today. It uh, will come out in a, in a little bit. But um, no. Will be interesting, I think, doing this. Let me just put it on all the socials. No. Uh, but this should be good. Uh, link. Obviously, if some of you guys are new subscribers here, so you know, welcome all. If you are new, much appreciated. You know, checking out the channel uh, and all. Much love. Um, it's useful to this actually copy and paste. There you go. Oh, I think I've just done more. Maybe not, I haven't. <laughs> so confused. Um, live. Watch it. Oh, I'm at live. Dun, dun, dun. Put that at the top. I swear down this thing ain't gonna work. You watch. I don't think this is gonna work. Let's have a look. Oh no, this actually work. Okay, it does work, guys. It does work. I didn't think it was going to work. But it does. It does work. Okay, cool. That's the all. Um, yeah, no. So, hello, everyone. Hope we're having a good day. Uh, I'm actually start the stream now, sorry. So, um, yeah. Doing Quest Time Career Mode will be an interesting one. Um, so, yeah. I'm just putting the... Live on YouTube. And then... Wait, can you pin my... Can you pin something on Instagram? Oh, well, you can't. Wait, hang on. You can't pin stuff. Oh, that's annoying. You can't pin stuff on Instagram. That's a bit annoying. That's sad. You can't pin anything. Or, like, do anything. Uh, right. Anyway. So, yeah. Let's go on to it. So, we're looking at team management first. Um, before we look at some of the signings. I've already shortlisted a few players. Um, no. So, up front, then. Currently, we have uh, Danny... Ings. Now, Danny Ings, interesting player. I think Smart Crow will probably play uh, over him up front. That makes more sense for him. Danny Ings, still a major striker. Will be our backup striker this season. Look at his stats. Actually, he's better than Smart Crow. I'm thinking development wise, his potential, etc. Um, so we'll do that. Then we've got Bequator at Kang, with Lazini, for now, as Vlasic uh, uh, and Downs, etc. Uh, all there as well, uh, which would be interesting one. Uh, but I think Bequator. Will be, will be a good option. Uh, that's for sure. Uh, hang on, guys. Just gonna do something real quick. So West Ham, woman. Sorry, Man United woman, have just uh, scored. Don't know if anyone really um, watches Man United Ruin, but they've just scored 1 0. Good, I guess. So, it's really, I, do, I don't know. I'd say fair. Right, I've got a question for you guys. If you guys support a a football team, do you guys also support the women's football team? But, like, I don't mean support, I mean, like, actually, just watch the games and actually, like, care about the school line is, you know what I mean? Do you, do you guys actually care about that or not? That's my question, because I don't think that's super do to be fair. Uh, anyway, that's that. Okay, we can go back to it. To do it. Uh, if on YouTube, blah, blah, blah. hello everyone on the stream. What we're all doing, and there you go. We can actually go live now. Pull through that. There'll be no more interruptions. There we go. Right, yeah. So, uh, Smarka for now. So, um, so Quater, um, Smarka on the left. Then we've got Bon Rama. I think for now it'll be Cornet. I think we will. Well, I'm planning on getting a new winger, a new left winger. So, Cornet being there for now. Um, Quater on the right side is to be Jared Bowen. We are going to get a backup right winger though uh, as well. So that's another business we'll be doing on the transfers. Right, right, we can foul. I'm happy with that. I think Johnson will be the backup. Uh, Agward. Is that his name? Agward. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna say Agward because I don't know. So I'm gonna say Agward and um, Zuma as well. Uh, we've got um, Kahir. Kegro. Kahira. Ki. 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 How do you say that? <laughs> it's like it's like four different. Kahira. No, but it's not that because it's French. So it's like. Here. Let's just say Kahir. 
Uh, and then uh, Okunona. Okunona I'm pretty sell though. Um, so Zuma and Gred, probably be the one. And then we might get a new cinematic this season. I don't really know, to be fair. Uh, that's right, we've got Cresswell. It will be uh, Emerson for now. Uh, then in the field, two Shack and Rice, one happy with. On the bench, so uh, Damian is there. For now, it's actually making a centre mid. Um, so it'll probably play over Sushek at some point uh, as the centre mid Sushek on the bench to back up defensive midfielder. Then Rama will literally just be selling. Um, and so for now, just Bum Rama's kind of that winger spot. Um, we'll use him for trim, we'll say. For now, it's the midfielder. Um, Antonio will come out for what will be a CDM, which will be Downs. And then Cresswell Knoller, which uh, I'm pretty happy with. So Kahira will go in there. Johnson probably going over Cresswell. And Ariola will start and go off Fabianski. So that's what we're looking. So where do we make the signings? For now it's probably a new centre midfielder, a new CDM um and a winger, basically. So for me, or two so what I want to use the left winger and a right winger, and then um what I'm personally gonna want is a uh well another centre back, but also CDM. So I've shown us some wingers already. So we've got Alanga, Nelson, Sarabia. Um, Adam Achorre, Damsgaard, Grealish, Neto, Trossard, and Azen Hazard all as some good options. Um, Hazard may have been that you know, kind of start winger on the left-hand side. We look at centre-back and then obviously CDM as well. Um, I kind of tried to be smart. So look at the Liga, look at the Prem, try and get some players from like all different leagues um, to really try and expand kind of the, um, the club, right? Because that's what the board wants to expand the club. So Nacho Fernandez probably wouldn't be the perfect legs he's like um getting on now he's thirty two but could still give us yeah, maybe a, a a solid season and maybe two seasons even. Um so like wise in the the Liga it's only really the big, the big names. There's no real upcoming kind of stars. Um, Varelo could be a good player actually. I think he'd be pretty good. Uh, I think Varelo would be the only stock we yeah shortlist from the Liga. Uh, we we'll look in the Prem as well, of course, and see these results. So this Mackay, yeah, he'd be probably be a good sign to play. He doesn't get regular game time at Man City. I think he would probably be good to 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 bring with us um, here. I think he'd probably be quite happy with us. Um, Apart from that, though, too fair. Yeah, Trevor Shannaba is somebody quite want to play. Nathan Collins, who I think would be pretty. You know, Nathan Collins, I think would actually probably be amazing here. Ben Davies, I think he'll be good. Uh, Craig Dawson, obviously, he left us. I mean, the betrayal right there, mate. Eric Dyer would be good as well. So some of these. And Eric Dyer would probably make a CDM. I think Dyer, yeah, he probably could make a CDM, too fair. So he probably would have to be somebody we kind of look out for. Um, Rob Holden. Because some of these players, you're going to be able to make CDM. And I think that would be good if we could. Uh, well, but we can, so. Good if we do. So that's probably it, too. Fair. I don't really think there's really any others. And no, there's, there's not. So, yeah, that is that. So, like, CDM. As I said, we'll probably prop, we'll, I'm probably going to make probably someone like um cdm i'm very likely to make probably eric Dyer, but Bash um Bashkek is actually listed for loan for liverpool which is mad considering how good his potential is so seven Bashkek could be a player we go for danilo he doesn't have a game face which is really annoying or even just an uh, image but he does he's like 77 odd rated he's actually pretty good so definitely someone to look out for scott McTominay. Um, wanted by Newcastle in real life, but we could obviously go in for him and, and, and steal him. On Nana would be pretty decent as well, I think. So I think they're probably the main, yeah, yeah. So they're definitely the main kind of place we want to go for. We have about 60 million in the budget. I think it's very good for, for how we're trying to play it. 60 million in the budget. We sign Eric Dyer as a CDM. Nathan Collins is our backup centre back. We sign Aiden Hazard as our left winger. Or how much would Grealish cost? Mm, okay, maybe maybe you can negotiate Grealish, but Grealish, Hazard, or probably Trossard for that. Anima Torore or Nelson for the right winger spot. CDM 
um, yeah, probably Eric Dyer. So, I think our first... I don't think we'll make any transfers to get. Let's wait for all the scout reports to come back. And then we'll assess it then. Um, based off the scout report to his sign and, and, and kind of what we do. Out again in the Premier League season is Bournemouth. Then Leeds, Everton, Leicester, um, Conference League, Spurs, City, Brentford, Nottingham Forest, Liverpool, Brighton. So... Uh, and then more comes to the games. Arsenal, Southampton, Wolves, United, Palace, Newcastle, Chelsea, Aston Villa, Fulham, and Nottingham Forest. So the, the the start, halfway through the Premier League season, I would say is not easy, but we've got some good fixtures, you know what I mean? This is spread out. Going into then January, Brentford, Aston Villa, Crystal Palace, Man United. Then it gets a bit harder. Wolves, City, Spurs... Arsenal, April, we got every Saturday, match every Saturday. And then ending the Premier League season off game against Liverpool. So, to be fair, I think we, we are quite lucky with that. The team is pretty evenly spread out. Um, oh, sorry, the games are pretty spread out. Um, not too much fixture con congestion. And but that's not the main thing. The the main thing for me is actually there's not like four big s top six in a row. It's pretty pretty spread out, which is always a huge perk. Now I'm not going to quick sim all the way because I want to make sure we not all our players on the shortlist have been signed. Because that's if not that's what happens. Uh, obviously we don't want that. So um, yeah, you won't. Hi. How are you doing? So we lose 2 1 to our Betis against Roma. 3 1. Ouch. Not doing great here. Then we stop there and go from there. But no, not great, that's for sure. Uh, not great at all. But that does mean our scout ports are back and, and everything to sort, which is good. Uh, okay, Oklahoma transfer to South Atletico Madrid, 100%. Antonio, let's go to Benfica, yeah. Not Forest, I'm going to reject. Corner up and Rama. Okay, Fabianski, what deal is that? Lanzini, let's go to Leicester. I'm going to negotiate, I'm going to negotiate with this. I would accept, but I don't think we will. I don't think it makes too much sense to accept this um because it's dead on exactly what we asked for so maybe we negotiate can we do a player swap hmm maybe not uh, i think we're barking off the wrong wrong up the wrong tree with that let's go maybe for an offer of about 12 million and they're just going to walk out. They even try to to negotiate. Terrible idea. By the way, mate, Messi. Uh, uh, absolutely not. And got offer here for three point one mils. It's kind of way above uh, the asking price. But um, yeah, that's a good thing. As interesting players, this is what I said would happen. Um, with an interest for players, which obviously is not what we want. Um. Gav wants to come back, but it also means that players want them. Uh, Braganza, obviously, chance listed, but we made him a cam anyway. Just to see the overall go up. Which, okay, it doesn't, but still, the overall is the same. Um, let's get yeah, more money for him. That's all right. So, let's have a look then at how we're doing now. The chance for help. So, short list of players then. Uh, yeah, everyone's back. So let's have a little look. And on it will be 75 rated, 25 years of age, cost us 12 million. McTominay, 17 million. Danilo, 76. Budget Tech costs us 82, and he's about 70 rated. Rob Holden costs us 9 million. Eric Dyer costs us 17 million. Davies costs us 8 million. Nathan Collins has cost us 14 million. Shallowbird costs us just 8 million. And Martin only costs us 3 million. 
Now that game cost us 18 million. Well, Hey Ho cost us 5 million. And more so, 21 million. Fernandez, 13 million. Hazard, 24 million. Trossard, 21 million. Neto, 21 million. Grealish, 47 million. Damsgaard, 13 million. Traore, 8 million. Sarabia, 20 million. Nelson, 4 million. With the line gap being just 6 million. So, we'll go ahead as plans. We'll sign Eric Dyer. And then we'll go from there. If Eric Dyer can... This is, this is where it comes down to. We'll sign Eric Dyer. If he can become a CDM, we'll sign another centre-back. If he cannot become a CDM, then we'll go from there. So, we'll offer... Um, about... About 15 million. Get for a bit less. Not able really to, so... 20 million minimum. Go down to maybe 17.5 million. Uh, they're going to just want that 20 mil. Okay. I mean, it's all right. We'll go 17.75. Okay. Minimum is going to be 90.5. So I'll go down. Let's go for 18.75. And they're yeah, going to accept that. So, yeah. Um, completely great. Antonio Conte, it's a very good deal for Eric Dyer. Very happy with it. Yeah, cannot complain about that for Eric Dyer. Negotiation then. He's going to want probably a crucial. We give him a crucial. I mean, he will definitely be in contention to start. We'll offer him probably a three-year contract and he's 31. Uh, discard that release clause. And then wage-wise, we'll probably give him about 7... Mm, we'll offer him about 70k. And Eric Dyer will accept that. And there you go. Eric Dyer, welcome to West Ham. Good, 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 good. Sign him. And there you go. So Eric Dyer joins West Ham. I think it's a very good signing from Spurs to West Ham. Um, for 18.75 mil. You can't say we're going to get regular first team football there because, well, he did already at Spurs. Um... I was going to win him over. Best possibly was actually 16.1 million, apparently. All right. But, um, no, now we've signed him. That's out of the way. We can now look for. Well, see where he can play. So, we'll say. So, Eric Dyer. Let's have a little look. As I said, if he can't play CDM, that's perfectly fine because he will just be our centre back. And he's going to take us 95 weeks. So, no, he's not going to become uh, that centre back. Or well, the CDM, sorry. But as I said, that's perfectly fine. He will just stay as... Um, he will just stay as a centre-back. Now, one option we do have is signing Victor Lindelof. I know it takes him about a month, I think, to become a CDM. That is an option. Or we just go and actually sign an actual CDM. So, Onana or Bashitek. Now, I feel like we don't want to spend too much on our CDM. I think Bashitek will actually be probably our best option. So, we're going for a two-year loan and a loan to buy... Start off for 2 point mil, uh, 2.8 mil. Don't go with 4 million. I think that'd be a perfect, perfect deal. We've got Nelson we could go for for the right wing. Left wing we think of Hazard, Trossard, Grealish or Neto. Um, then all these Cinemax, well, are like no longer important to us. So it's all down to the wingers. I think for left wing, we're probably going to spend the cash and go for Hazard. But I'm just thinking... Neto, 20 years of age, 78 overall. I think he'd be a very good player on that left-hand side to grow as a superb winger. But his stats ain't really there. That's my only problem with that. Very good on the ball. Yeah, very good, very fast. Isn't too strong. Decent crossing. Good dribbler. Decent finisher. Then Hazard is literally everything we want. Trossard's not bad at all. Grealish as well. So I'm going to go in for Grealish. That's our first. That's our first problem. Go in for Grealish. Swap deal with probably Ben Rama. See what we can do with Jack Grealish. If it turns out we can't get him, which is what we're all expecting, then it'll be fine. Because then we go in um, for someone else. So for now, uh, for now this will be our first player we go for. We'll offer probably about 35 million. No, we'll, no. We'll offer about 33 million. Plus for now. And if we give him 38 million, they'll accept that. If we go down to 50, 35 million, 
They're going to accept it. So we will sign Jack Grealish for £35 million. Pounds. Wow, I'm a prime negotiator. Jesus. Jesus Christ. We have just signed Jack Grealish for £35 million. Pounds. Manchester City signed him for £100 million. We are going to sign him for £35 million. He wants crucial four years. Disregard the release clause. We'll give him a hundred grand wage from his 160k. He wants 115k. We'll accept that wage. Remove the bonus. Uh, we'll take... Sorry, wage can stay at 120k. Or we'll take it down to 110k. Sign a bonus will go down to just 500 grand. Come on. Okay, he's going to keep pretty animate that. I'm happy that should maybe take that wage down to 115 grand. I'm, okay, I'm going to accept that. Jack Relish, welcome to West Ham United for 35 million pounds. <laughs> what a signing for West Ham United. Jack Grealish plus Pablo Fernald's 35.6 million. What a signing. They call me the prime negotiator for a reason. Wow. Don't think anyone can believe I actually just signed him. Now, for right wing, we could loan in someone probably like Nelson, can we? We can't. Okay, we've got someone like Trorore. Can we loan in Trorore? No. Damsgaard? No. Okay. Not going great now. But, uh, no, we can find someone for sure. But Jack Realish, what signing comes out best player? Wow. Wow. Yeah, I, 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 too fair. I honestly cannot believe it. I know I said this is now the now the next problem, which I didn't realise. Because we didn't sell Benrahma, that now means we have the left wing, the a sediment spot to fill in. Oh, I just digged myself into a hole here. We now have a central midfielder spot we need. And this defensive mid. So you have a midfield and defensive mid. Oh, we're going to have to push squad depth here to the minimum. This is going to be tough. This is going to be hard. That's for sure. This is going to be very hard. We need midfielder and a CDM. We just have the money to do both. So we're going to have to push squad depth to an absolute minimum. We need to find someone within our team who can play centre mid or CDM. Um, okay. Cresswell will take us four weeks. Just remember that. Cresswell currently is our leading player. I don't want one of our CDMs becoming... I uh, so one of our Cedrax becoming and playing CDM. So we need to find someone. Someone. Come on. Don't get me wrong. Downs won't be, I mean, like the worst of players. But... Pernic standards for West Ham is no. Um... I mean, in some sense, it's become very difficult. Very difficult indeed. But. There's going to be some way we can do this. So, first idea was be equator. We can make them sediment. Took 19 weeks. I don't think Nancy would work very well as centered, would he? No, I'm talking about a year. Well, that's the end of those options. So, yeah. Very easily put, um, Open oh, Rama's probably going to be our last option. The other thing of a Rama, we can make him a cam and then equator a set of mid. But then he wouldn't start. So it's not fair. No. So the, the easy answer is no. Apart from Cressel, then we would need to sign a left back. But we could sign someone like Brandon Williams. Okay, 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 okay. We could have an idea. Might have an idea. 
Might have an idea. Crest will give us this one season of football, right? We'll take that. Make Aaron Cresswell a defensive midfielder for West Ham. He can play till his contract runs out, which is next year. Right? The end of the season, 12 months. We then sign Brandon Williams from Manchester United. Or like any left back in the world. Brandon Williams. Shortlist, scout. Loan. We do a one year loan for Brandon Williams. We sign Williams. He plays left back for us. Cresswell, defensive midfielder. That is an R3 Lou. Genius move right there. Absolutely genius. Genius move. Absolutely genie. May have just found our but a, a solution to our problem. Cannot believe I'm actually saying that, but we did it. Well, I might have. So make Cresswell a um our uh, uh, as CDM. He plays CDM for us as a backup defensive midfielder. Aaron Cresswell, the backup left back, a uh, backup CDM for us. We then have um. He plays uh, as backup CDM. We signed Brandon Williams as a backup left back. And we still have our issue. Apart from the fact they said no. Oh, damn it. Van der Beek. But, oh, can, we loan in, can we loan him in? Okay, sorry. He didn't say no. Um, it's just because we didn't respond. Oopsie lazies. This is going to be difficult. But I think we can do it. Right. Jack, Declan Rice. I mean, it makes sense to us to sell him at this moment, but no, absolutely not. Ben Rama. I really, I, I, I think I'm going to say yes to Ben Rama. Honestly, I think we say yes to that. Um, it makes sense. I think Ognon has been sold. Okay, good. Budget check loan agreement, but he's pulled out because we took too long. I really shouldn't have um, skipped so far. Okay, right. How much we got? Five million. Okay. All right. Let's see what we can do with 5 mil, shall we? Ben Rama goes. Let's say he goes. Oh, no, hang on. Bad hasn't hasn't gone. So, Bad now goes down to the player. Okay, that's all right. Brandon Williams, we'll get him in. Um, next time, when, when we can get we, we, when we can submit another offer, we'll go and Brandon Williams. You put Donnie Man to beak. Yeah, let's see. Can we loan him in? The question is if we can loan him in. If we can loan him in, we're fine. If we can't, then it's a no. Can we loan him in? We can't. We can't loan him in. That's the issue. But Curtis Jones, we could. Curtis Jones, we might. I'm trying to think if like every footballer on like on the planet here, Curtis Jones to loan him in. Yes, one year loan, and get Curtis Jones in. On a one-year loan. Curtis Jones, someone of a fault, be a one-year loan. And Cresswell are with an offensive midfielder. And then we're fine. This may have actually been a, like, just a, a, a tactical genius. All, all I'm going to say. Then we sign Ryan... Um, no, hang on. Then we sign someone like Nelson to become a, uh, to become a right winger. Or backup right winger. Cresswell, I'm a new defensive midfielder. He comes in when we need him to. Um, so he, he becomes our new CDM. Curtis Jones becomes our new midfielder. When Basha Tech comes in, he comes in over Cresswell. Which then means we just need our right winger, which would be Nelson. Genius, right there. Genius, ladies and gentlemen. Absolute genius. So uh, for now, we'll do this. Eric Dyer probably. I don't think he starts. I think uh, he might. Does say I don't know. We'll have a look. But no, that, that's good, I think, for us. I think that's great. So, yeah. We sign Curtis Jones. He becomes a midfielder. We sign a new right winger. Bang. And we've done it. <sighs> I mean, squad depth at the minimum, for sure. But um, these two we sign. A line goal cost us 6 mil. We're not going to get him. 4 mil. We're going to get Nelson. Who? They John Zoet. 
No, but we've got to be able to loan in these players. So if we can't loan them in, we can't get them, mate. That's the problem. We don't have much money in the bank currently. We're a bit, um, yeah, a bit poor. 4.5 mil. Come on. Just accept it. Come on, come on, come on. So I'm able to get Nelson now. And Nelson, permanent deal, by the way, as our backup right winger. Perfect. Right, rotation, yep, for sure. He's looking on the bench. He will get probably more than like 10 games a season in total. Four years, so he's 36. Uh, no release clause. Uh, his wage probably given about 35 grand. Oh, God, only f oh, we can only give him 14k. What? Oh, bye bye. We can only give him 14k. Oh, what the hell was that, man? What the hell was that? We're not going to get a Langer anymore either. Tororo we can't afford. And the plan has just gone down the hill. <sighs> okay. Okay, okay. It's, it's all right. Because we could just let Benrahma be sold. This is all right. We can't overreact. Because if, if Benrahma gets sold, then we're fine. So, no need to overreact. We just need Benrahma to go. Ben Rama right now saves the fate of this club. Alright, but that means we still have Jones, doesn't it? Except, Coach Johnson just has to think about it. The John K. Okay. Can we can we loan him in? That's my question, mate. Alright, Van Dyke, what do you mean? We're never gonna be able to get him. Don't be stupid. Which one? The junk? Which one are we talking about? Van Dyke, mate. mate we, we have. We, we are bankrupt. We have no money. We cannot get Van Dyke. Come on, Ben Rama. Ben Rama has been sold. Thank God. Thank God. Ben Rama has been sold. Oh, my. Thank you, Ben Rama. We love you. Ben Rama is a West Ham legend. I'm saying it right now. And Bajatek has joined West Ham for a two years ago. We cannot get Van Dyke, mate. Come on, Bajatek has joined West Ham on a two year loan deal. Ben Rama has been sold. That's not free loot. Masterclass. Come on. We, are, we can now call Ben Rama. A West Ham legend. You have 30 million now to spend. All thanks to my man, Ben Rama. You are a legend. Right. Adam Ochoa as a backup right winger. Would that work? I think so. Getting for 8 million. That means we have about 20 odd million to spend. We spend that on. I don't know. So give me a think. Um, oh. A midfielder, I think. Give me some time to think about that one. Maybe cannot get Van Dyke for the 80th time. 7.5 million. Just try and get the lowest here. They want Lazzini. Uh, no. Can't get him either. 8.1. Oh, it's supposed to be 8 mil. But they'll say yes. Okay, good, good. High Nile. Okay, this is good. Delegate, 80k. All right. This is, I mean, the squad depth is going to be like like none. But we should be good to come into this Premier League season now. Hi, Niall. Uh, let's see what we can see. Okay. So, after this, we then sign a midfielder. And we're fine. <sighs> so, we sign um, Animal Trore. That's our uh, winger sorted. We could go in for Anana. McTominay has been loaned out to Bournemouth. I never knew we could loan him out. <laughs> loaned out to Bournemouth, jeez. I'd loan him if I knew we could loan him out. Cannot get Zoe either, mate. Stop asking. Uh, ben Davies been sold. Nathan Collins. Uh, so we can't loan out. We don't really need to loan out. And now I'm seeing if we can loan anyone out. Shalaba, we can loan out. Okay. Let's loan out Shalaba then. I mean, we're really...
coming down to the hurry here of loans. If we can loan Shalabar out, we can probably make him a midfield, a defensive midfielder. Nathan Ake might even be able to loan out. Jesus, wow. Woo! We cannot get Van Dijk either. I'm going to time him out in a minute, mate, because he's just spamming the chat now with players we just can't sign. Um, okay, Shalabar interest. Shadow alternative, no, he's going to join with us. Ake, low in agreement. Come on. Low in agreement with Nathan Ake. We can definitely make Ake a, a CDM. We can't get De Jong either, mate. He's going to cost us about 100 million. Sorry to say, we, we don't have 100 mil in the bank. This is tense. All right, who's joined? Is this... Um, Nathan Ake. Oh, Curtis Jones. Oh, oh, Curtis Jones. Yes, come on. Curtis Jones joins West Ham on a one season, a one year loan move. <laughs> this really is a tactical genie here. I really am a tactical genie. Calling it myself. Troy loan accepted. Uh, oh, sorry, deal accepted. Three years. Anima Troy, welcome to West Ham. Ben Rama, by the way, is a West Ham legend. We was bankrupt. We sold Ben Rama, and now we have saved this club. So, Animal Troy, welcome to West Ham. Woo! Yeah, welcome, 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 welcome. Nathan Ake, that deal is getting sorted out on the sidelines here. Kufaulofa rejects Hegshik, or uh, Hegshik will, will decline as well. Um, because it's uh, one of those purchase buy things. Advance gone two days left till the Premier League season goes. Can we get Nathan Ake in before the Premier League season? Yes, we can. Nathan Ake, welcome to West Ham United. <laughs> Round of applause. Round of applause to myself. We excellent, absolutely excellent. We signed Nathan Ake on a 12 month deal. Uh, we're not going to sign any more players here, mate, unfortunately, because we've signed everyone we need to sign, I believe, uh, at least. But there we go. Somehow, somehow we did it. Don't know how, but somehow we did it. Now let's just sort out the team. So, first play Nathan Ake. We'll make him a CDM uh, where he can play just about. Uh, make him a CDM. Antonio comes out for Curtis Jones. Uh, Bachelor Tech will come in as a well, basically third choice uh, defensive mid. But he can also play pretty much everywhere on the pitch. Uh, Van Speak, mate, but as I said, we're not signing any more players. Uh, just came out of here by accident. You see, get back into the game and um, get back into it. Um, after that, we have Amal Torore. He comes in over Cornet. And then Cornet will come in there. And Antonio. Um, because of the striker. So, there you go. Pretty much saved it. Jack Relish, by the way, man. I still can't believe we signed him. 35 million, by the way, we got Jack Relish for. The Kratos marker. Bowen, Sushek, Rice, Zuma, Emerson, Aguard, Kufau, Areola. On the bench. Ake, Jones, Rory, Ings, Johnson, Dyer, and Fabianski. What a season. Oh, but what a transfer window, shall I will say. Um... Uh, Phenomenal is my only word. To be fair, phenomenal. I think it's the only word you can actually use to to describe that. Um, that was generally how hectic it was. It was it, it was mad. Um, we're not going to make Cresswell a defensive fielder um, anymore because we don't need we don't need to. Um, Nathan Ake, as I said, will make CDM. Um, Same six eight weeks, but. First of all, we have six eight weeks, and secondly, um, yeah, he doesn't have to be an actual defensive mid to actually play defensive mid, does he? Uh, well, actually, apart from that, can anyone else play defensive mid? Because if like Zuma will take like two weeks, we'll make him a defensive mid instead. Uh, so I'm just having a little look. Nope, half a year. I guard. Basically, quarter of a year. And Eric Dye, we checked earlier, but he can't either, can he? If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Okay. No. Oh, oh, yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm happy. Um, I think we did very good 
I think we did very good. Very well. For the money we had and for kind of the situation we was in regards to we need this player, we need this player, this player. I think we did very well. Don't get me wrong, could squad that through better for sure. But in general, I think we did very, very good um, job. I think in January, we'll probably make one signing maximum. We probably won't make any signings. I think in January, it'll probably be just make sure the squad is there. And if we need to loan in some players, we can if we don't have the required squad depth ahead of on the stream. So, apart from that, I think we did a very good uh, job. Uh, and I think we do have, like, generally not that much money now to spend. Um, and I don't think we'll sell any more players. I think next season, when it comes to the summer, we probably will have a bit of a squad clear out, a lot of contracts expiring as well. What we might try and do is sell the players whose contracts are expiring in January so we get a bit of money for them. Um, so them just leaving uh, for free. I think that's really how I'm going to play it. Apart from that, though, we are pretty uh, happy. And Dennis, mate, for like the 100th time, please stop telling me players to sign because we don't have the money to do it and we don't need to sign any anyone else either. So please stop. Um, yeah, I'm just going to time this guy out because he is... Just sunk. There you go. Right. Time's about. It's just spamming the chat at this point. And there was no footballer called Dejon either. Yeah, the, the G. You're missing the G there, mate. Uh, all right then. So yeah, go and vote Winger for Amar Traore. Vlasic. He wasn't. He wasn't sold. Can you believe it? Sorry, he just wasn't sold. Uh, as much as we tried to sell him, we just couldn't sell him. Uh, which is really annoying. But he's not going to play anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And uh, there you go. So, first game season now then is against Bournemouth. We'll get straight into it. Um, and let's see what we can do against Bournemouth. Uh, okay. Look at the squad. I think we'll give Zuma, uh, so Eric Dyer his debut. We'll give Johnson a game. Uh, I think that'll be it. Strap Bowen. What's the fitness like? Okay, great. Cool. Right, that's what we're going to do, it, I think. So, Johnson and Eric Zara in the defence. Let's play the match. Let's play the match. Let's play the match. <laughs> Try to make a song there. It's ask me why. <laughs> Hope you guys liked it. Be on Spotify. Coming soon. I don't know what people say when they when they trying to announce something and their song coming to Spotify coming to Spotify yeah <laughs> what a go Boom. Four nil, West Ham. Four nil, United against West Ham currently. Follow him. Right then, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The opening game of the Premier League season. It's West Ham v Bournemouth at Vitality Stadium. Let's go. Let's win it. See what we can see. Emerson, Declan Rice. Chips over the top to the crater. Good football here to open the season. Crater. The crater! Neto's oh, at full stretch to deny him. It's a good chance though. There's Jack Bowen in the box. Not best of reason. Doesn't reach anyone. He's at guard. So Eric Dyer at guard. Jack Bowen. He's going to whip it in back post to Sushek, but no one gets there and. Don't know how you say his name, but he got to that ball. <laughs> it's Torore on the left wing. Johnson will try and track back. He's, he's beaten, but he tracks back. Campbell will be beaten the second time by Ariola with, well, a stunning save from Ariola. So now Bournemouth, the leading goal and uh, well, the opening goal. So both keepers with some big saves to start this game. And it's got someone now, the captain of Bournemouth this season. After the ropes. Only a lone player as well. Lone player getting the armband. Sharp Bowen. Crater. 
Jack Grealish, the star signing himself. Very good, Jack Grealish, for £35 million. What a bargain. Good work, Emerson. Here we go. And to Grealish, she's going to try and pop it in. Back post to Jared Bowen, but once again, no one gets there. Sushak, Rice. To Grealish, but he'll be sacked off the ball by the ball. A fullback, and that ball will find Sushak, or maybe not, because he's got some intercepts. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I know there's quite a few counts, isn't there? You just don't. Um, the voice calling you get while you're up with the big save. Yeah, I know a lot of counts just stream it, don't they? Not the voice. I just find that a bit boring if you're just going to watch there and no one's commentating. Sounds like dead then, is it? <laughs> the Elmer team staying a fan, obviously. Oh, they could. Here's Torore, chops it into the box. A good play from Bournemouth, but Ariola gets to that and will clear it uh, quite well, actually. He's smart, Craig. He really might not be the kind of player you'd expect to kind of dribble with the ball. He's more of a kind of target man type striker but here's for Quater big chance now for West Ham but Quater he have time he's going to shoot and West Ham take the lead it's West Ham 1 Bournemouth 0 but Quater scores on his West Ham debut it's a great great goal by Quater he gets his shirt pulled by Moore but it doesn't stop him from scoring a cracker it's a great goal by the Brazilian, and it's his first goal in a West Ham shirt. Come on. Well, that was a foul ref, but we'll ignore it anyway. Big goal, though, for, uh, well, big goal for Lucas Vecreta on his debut. And West Ham have the lead. Uh, well, the game volume, yeah, of course. Well, my volume or game volume? Uh, game volume, we can, though. Which one is it? That's seven. If you want me to turn my mic, I can. Like, that's my mic turned down. Game there. We turn it down a bit. If it's still too loud, just so. We'll turn it down again. The second and Rice. He'll lose the ball. Forward to Moore. Sushek to Jared Bowen. Yeah, if, if it's still too loud, I'll just, just say. Yeah, it's right. He's drawing. Jump to keep the pressure on him. A bit of tackle, tackle's very late. Big shot to Bournemouth and Ariola with another big save. Three big saves now for Ariola in the opening half an hour. At the right hand attack. Drawing. Big work, Declan Rice. Big clearance from the skipper. Here's Marker. Well, Big tackle, clear. Jack Grealish, who hasn't done much this game, but he's a big chance for Bournemouth. I don't know how you say his name, but Bournemouth equalise. The number 17 scores, and it's 1 1. You know, Jack Grealish, I know, I, I understand we got him for 35 million, Jack Grealish, but he really hasn't done much, has he? Bournemouth's number 7 scores, and it is 1 1 in the right alley. Yeah, and number 10, new Jack Grealish. We got him for a bargain. Man City brought him for 100 million. We got him for just 35 million. Or 35.6 exact. And he really hasn't done much, though, huh, this game. It's all been Lucas Paqueta for us. That's a big chance. More for again in this 2 1. Oh my. Jesus Christ. Within three minutes, we. Well, within three minutes, they equalise and then now take the lead. It's 2 1 Bournemouth. We was winning this game 1 0 just three minutes ago, and now we're losing. Embarrassing. Here's Tavernier now on the right hand side. Dak Rice will come into the fence and will win the ball back. Go out, Cleverson. And what the pitch out to Jack Grealish. Grealish to the Lucas Paqueta. Paqueta deflected, but Jack Grealish will still get there. Here's Samarcra. He's in the box. Samarcra. Good dribbling. Samarcra will take a hit, but it's straight at Neto. Poor shot. I'm the Italian. I believe he's Italian at least. Got in that back with Sushet. Declan Rice keeps it. Superbly, but the pass is not good. Declan Rice again. Intercepts it, but 
We keep it, and the pass is also intercepted. Hope done out of the way in Grief Fredericks, the former West Ham fullback. That's what's in the box. And we get to that. Jared Bowen there is the only option. Chip the top two check. Can he get there? And it is half time. Two on board worth at the break. Um, interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Changes itself, I think, is quite a hard one to call. I think you could say with Jack Grealish, but let's keep him on. Uh, I think my first change would probably be Smarkoff for Danny Ings. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be the change I want to make. I think Smarkoff is that kind of player who is 6 of 5, you're 23. Not the fastest. He's a bit more, get the ball to his feet. He turns and he shoots. He reminds me of a player. He plays for Wolves. He's about 6 for 8. I believe he's on loan currently. Um, but he's a very good footballer. But I think Danny Ings, for me, I also think Nathan Ake to come on for Aguad. He's better in every stat than him. Better pass him, better defend him, better physicality, and he's a bit more faster. So, Nathan Ake, Danny Ings both come on for their debuts. I think our next change will be Curtis Jones for Sushek. Maybe Torore as well for someone like Jared Bowen for a bit more pace down the wing. So, we'll see what happens. If we still lose him at probably the hour mark, then we'll probably take Jared Bowen off for Animal Torore and Curtis Jones on. So but for now, just two changes at the break. So Danny Ings comes on for Smarker. And Nathan Ake comes on for Agrod. You know Agrod has had a, you know, a pretty decent first half performance. You probably say took Eric Dyer off. Uh, but I disagree. Here's Danny Ings. Lovely work from Ings. Now free ball to Jared Bowen. Here's a chance for West Ham. Jared Bowen. Cuts inside. Bowen loses it. And it's kept on West Ham. See. And I'm not sure he wouldn't have been in that position, I don't think, because he would have the pace to beat him by a mile at first. Then no one been there. And uh, Leon Goretzka has joined Liverpool. Don't see that ever happening in real life. And Nathan Ake, a big tackle. And Bowen's on the ball back. Bowen, he keeps it, but the poor. Black, the pass is poor. The great is on that back, though. Is Bequeta. Bequeta. Oh, that's a terrible tackle. Advantage play. Jack Bowen keeps it on. Sushek. Watch the options. Danny. Ing shot. Blocked. Torore keeps it on for West Ham. That's right, for Bournemouth. It's Torore. Big inception. Oh, so I had to out for a corner. At that point, we then make, will make changes. So Quetza is apparently injured. Um, Curtis Jones come for Sushak and Troy comes on uh, as well. Um, if he, if the Quetza is injured, then Jared Bowen will stay on, but he will just play at Cam. Or Jack Relish will play at Cam. Uh, I think that's what we'll do then if there is an injury here. So Curtis Jones and Amma Troy back on. No, no, Kretz up does come off because he is injured, which is not useful whatsoever. Nathan Ake, good work in that header against Sonny's round. Eight foot. Looks like it. <laughs> Billing. More. Yeah, it's giant more. Jones. It's an archer already. Now here's the pace. Roaring to Grealish, and he's lost the ball. The the uh, yeah, it's been a poor debut for Jack Grealish. They haven't really created many chances in the second half, but we've had a bit more of a more solid half than we did in the first half. Now we've conceded so many chances, we haven't really created so many chances. We've had a much more defensive second half, uh, which is good. We just need to now get a bit more attacking. That's just where we made changes. It's Bowen. It's just a good team. Just keep on losing the ball in the build-up play, and this is where um, 
Grealish just can't keep the ball and Darren Bowen apparently can't make a pass for his life either. But 20 minutes left to go. Still losing 2 on Vitality. Attack by Eric Dyer. So Eric Dyer and Nathan Ake. Very good second half. That's why I put Ake on. Freelish. Great ball to Jared Bowen. Bowen. Come on, Bowen. Come on, Bowen. Oh, he's going to keep it. Bowen. So Emerson. Good football. Emerson in the box. Jones. Oh, he just can't get there on the diving cutter. But he gets to that. Emerson will get there. Emerson. Right, so on shot. Oh, big save from Nettel, big save. Jack Grealish now on the corner. That's a good ball to Danny. Eggs! Oh, it's off the line from the keeper. What a save. Jesus, man. Jesus. Jared Bowen. Danny Ings again will get that. Emerson. Emerson to Jared Bowen. 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 It's wide. 11 minutes left to go. We've had a much more attacking kind of last seven or so minutes. Well, just listen to this atmosphere. It's been such a tight game, but the fans are certainly doing their bit in trying to get them over the finish line. Big interception, Declan Rice. Grealish. What was that? What was that from Dak Grealish? Like, why? Where? What? There's Mackay, okay. big tackle. Ball with keep it though. Six minutes left to go of the game. Big tackle from Emerson. I mean, every time we get the ball now, it could be our last kind of attack. So we've got to be very careful with the ball. Okay, poor tackle. Will be a free kick, but that maybe could be a good thing. So win the ball back from there straight away. Which we do own. So I thought that went in, but it's just wide. Right, but now we have the ball. So now we keep this and last attack possibly of the game. Five minutes left to go. Could be our last attack. Let's think it is. Five Jones over the top to Johnson. Johnson. It's a good fit from West Ham, but Johnson's dribbled it out of bloody play. Three minutes left to go. Come on, West Ham fans are chanting, "We want more." Really supportive. Big tackle from Everson. Come on, Jared Bowen now. Bowen. He's lost it. I mean, seconds left to go of the game. It's going to be two minutes of added time. Is that going to be enough? Probably not, but let's find out, shall we? One minute left to go. 45 seconds left to go. Big inception. Chance, chance, chance. Up, up, up. Danny Ings out on the breakaway for West Ham. He is the last chance of the game. Danny Ings. It's Danny. Ings is saved by Neto. And it's full time. Bournemouth 2. West Ham United 1. The last chance of the game saved by the Bournemouth keeper. And there you go. It is full time. We lose our first game of the season. Debatable if we should have won that or not. I think a lot of players would say, actually, we should have won that. I, I think uh, some others will say, no, you should have lost it. I think when you look at that game, I think actually, to be fair, you probably say, we deserve to lose that. We wasn't... Attacking enough. I think, yes, we had eight shots, but were they good shots? No, half of them were straight at the keeper. He wasn't attacking enough. He didn't, that build up play wasn't there. I think, yeah, um, you look at that, and I honestly do think we probably did deserve to lose that. Um, if I'm being completely honest with you, I just don't think we played good enough. Especially as it's Bournemouth. That means we lose our first game of the season. Um, but we do for Leeds, and here is an offer, which we're going to reject. But, you know, now against Leeds, they lost their game as well. So, it's a chance now to kind of bit of a turnaround after that loss and get back to winning games. Danny Ings will start. Curtis Jones will start. Nathan Ake will start. Johnson will not will, will not be involved. Cornet will be over to Raw, right? Bash of Tech will be over Edgard. Let's see kind of Bash of Tech how he's gonna play. So that's what we're gonna do. 
Let's get into this game. Clean slate. Let's go. Against seats. Hey, yo, hello, hello, yo. Bam bam bang ba ba bang 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 And so here we go, it's West Ham v Leeds United our first game of the season at home at the London Stadium against Saints. Come on! Well we need West uh, we need Jack Reedish to have hopefully a good game. It was first good game. And a um, well, good defensive display and hopefully actually win this game. Quetta. Quetta will lose the ball. That was arguable to be a foul, but uh, leads off a chance, they score. Weston McKenney scores for Leeds United. <sighs> scores his first goal for Leeds. That's annoying. Oh, people will argue that's a foul, but it's poor goalkeeper Ariola. Does he even try and pressure? Poor positioning. What's that? Four minutes in, and we're already one no down. No, should not be down. Poor defender. We shouldn't be down. Um, I think it's arguable that could be a foul. I think the team generally just saw that should be a foul and then just gave up because they thought the referee was going to call it. So no, that's poor. Very poor. Like really, should go work by Danny Ings. Team got as well. His key foul. Why is it Jared Bowen? Who's the ball? Jared Bowen, man. It's just, he's giving him on to speed, but other times he just has the ball then just loses it. Zoom up. Good work. There's an AK pass. It's Ariola. Ariola, mate. He's nearly lost that. He's cleared just in time. Danny Ings out. Oh, he had a chance to make a perfect ball, but doesn't make it. Jones, stack them right. Up. Get the right there. Adams, uh, what leads? Captain in real life. I don't know if he's in the game now. There's Coach Jones. Three ball not made for Keto up with tackle and on with Jared Bowen. Kurt Stone to make the interception. Nathan Ake will win the ball back and it's a good pass to Jack Grealish. Now Jack Grealish. Pass it on to Emerson. Emerson does get there. Emerson still going. Great work Emerson. The shot will block. Declan Rice. Now Curtis Jones. He will have a long shot blocked. Jones again. Ings! Well, we'll save it out for a corner. Jared Bowen in the box, good ball. Nathan Nake, oh, off the line. I think people will say that's a handball, but it goes out for a corner. Nathan Nake gets his head up, cleared off the line, and rubbles with a fingertip save. Jesus Christ. Bowen once again in the box, who really should score one of these, because we deserve two, but that time, rubbles catches it. That's, that's annoying. Goal line clearance, so then a fingertip save. I mean, great work from Leeds, but unlucky from West Ham. Here's Jared Bowen. Come on, ref, that's a shirt pull. Bowen. Bowen. Ings! And it's 1 1! Danny Ings scores his first goal for West Ham United. It's 1 1 at the London Stadium. Come on! Big, big goal. And Danny Ings falling to equaliser at home. 22 minutes in. West Ham United 1. He's nice to one. Come on, lads. Yeah, good work. It's a good ball from Jack Bowen into the box. Um, yeah, it's a nice, easy kind of just finish. It's Jack Bowen again. I see Jack Grealish this time back post. Jack Bowen, that's a foul ref. And I'll get called on 12. Quetta now in the box. Only option really, back post. Good ball. Oh, but Robles just beats Zuma to it. Not bad. Here's Jack Bowen. The Gunter this time Gunter does win the battle. Unlike he has on multiple occasions. Declan Rice, oh big tackle and the ball faces Jack Grealish as well. Isn't that useful? Here's Jack Grealish. Lovely from Jack Grealish. To Rice. Rice! Royal saves it. Not bad at all though. From the West Ham captain. Aronson. 
Here's a free ball though, here's Bamford, Renek, then Ake. Ake, back heel on to Jack Harrison. Harrison, big tackle, Q foul, but it's a penalty. What? A penalty given to West Ham. Uh, so we're given to Leeds United. All right then. Ariola. And he chips it down the middle. And Patrick Bamford gives Leeds United the lead. It's 2 1. Zuma. Curtis Jones gets there. He's trying to bow out. Aronson. Big tackle from Declan Rice. Bowen. To Paqueta. Paqueta. Chips over to Jack Grealish. Off he work. Here's Grealish. Inside. Jack. Grealish! Denied by the keeper. Big save though from Robles. Big save. That's a very good one as well. This Harrison be Kufa out. Good stuff. Thank you. Pack it. Aronson. Dallas. And they keep working away, looking for an opening. Well, I Big think tackle. Classic commentator's curse just then. Couldn't make the ideal pass. And the referee is quite rightly left. Oh, big skills from McKenzie. Um, Kenny. He's already scored once today. Zuma will not let him score another. Zuma. Big ball, big ball over the top to Jack Grealish. Here is Grealish. Cuts inside. It's Jack Grealish. Rubbles denies him once again. Two shots from Jack Grealish. Two big saves from the Leeds keeper. He is very unlucky. I'm sure he's probably quite annoyed at himself here for not scoring already. Big saves from the keeper, though. Here's Nake. Vantage play given to Leeds. Big tackle from Zuma. One minute left to go. Can we get it? Paqueta. Jared Bowen. Bowen. Ings turns. Tries to shoot, but he's tackled off the ball, and it will be half time. Leeds United 2 ball with one. Uh, sorry, by Sam 1. Another break. Well, this happened last game, and we lost the game 2 1. We have already the attacking players on the pitch, so not looking too good for us. Kufau comes off. Johnson will come on. Just got to look at that pace, I think, for me. Um, apart from that, no changes. I think Cornette. Might be the next one to come on for Jared Bowen. Actually, I think it will be the change. Um, Cornets will come on and Jared Bowen will come off. I think, don't get me wrong, oh, Bowen had a very good first half. He's going to come off. We'll change right hand side. So Johnson and Cornet both play. And now let's see what we can do. So kind of a changed right hand side. Zuma. Rice. Emerson. Lose the ball and it's just kept on by McKenney. He's playing to the right. The fielder apparently. Now. And Gake could have been sent off there, but he's been showing advantage, which is a bit telling off. And that will be a foul. And uh, a free kick to Leeds. Big chance, Ariola. Big save. And it will be kept on the pitch, actually. Big work for Jack Grealish to intercept that. Jack Grealish over the top to Emerson. McKenney will get there. Emerson will be able to make the tackle. Is Aronson. Big tackle. Jack and Rice will be able to get it. Harrison. Big save and corner. Will clear it out to Curtis Jones. He could have kept it, but he's going to make the bicycle kick pass. His Ings. Paqueta over the top to Jack Grealish. Who Aileen will get there and Aileen will keep it. Oh, Paqueta, big tackle. Danny Ings will get there. Oh, Danny Ings will. It's Danny Ings. Oh, Rubbles with the save. Rubbles has had a phenomenal performance. Jesus Christ. Second Rice, big interception for the captain. He has had a phenomenal performance. Goal line clearance, a finger uh, fingertip save of the corner. Might go out. Uh, yeah, fingertip, fingertip uh, save. What, two two saves now coming out. And um, another one of those big foot saves. I mean, it's been phenomenal. Don't know where Melier's gone. Apparently, he's been sold, I presume, but no clue. But um, Robbles, I mean, what performance he's having replacing him. It's corner. Big work. Jones. Come on, Kurt Jones. Come on. It's Kurt Jones. Hey, this is the ball. But he's been the for a we will make some changes in a minute. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that ball. The thing is, if he doesn't deserve to be using two ones, this is the problem. The Ron needs to play well, but our defence be has, has been good. 
second day. First goal, we thought it was a foul, it wasn't. Second goal was a penalty, so and perhaps shouldn't have been. So you look at that, it's been actually we've been decently unfortunate this game to be fair. Um, but we are gonna make some changes. Um Badge Attack will come on for Curtis Jones. Eric Dyer will come on. Nathan Ake will play at left back. Dark centre back. Um, um, yep. So yeah, let's make a few changes. Easy work for the keeper in the end. Johnson. To Nathan Ake. Possession lost. Johnson. Good ball. To Emerson. Now it's with Quetta. A lot of touch. Quetta. Down the left hand side. What a ball. What a ball to Johnson. Johnson actually got that. Corner at the strike. Yeah, it's a poor. Poor, poor shot. Locked anyway. And Johnson going with it back. Johnson. Ings. Cleared away. God's sake. 20 minutes left to go. Oh, it's nine months. It's annoying. Bamford. Okay, you've got to be careful now because you're on yellow. He has been on yellow for quite a long time to play this game. Emerson. Ariola. Big save. Emerson just didn't get there. So, big save. Captain Duncan Rice also got to be careful now. He's on yellow as well because he's had a huge kind of roll. Now field. Jones. Jack Grealish. Grealish is deflected. Goes out for a corner. Corner just could get his foot on it. We make the changes. Jack Grealish down the box. Eric Doyle! What a save. What a save. He's been phenomenal this game, man. Grealish. Dyer again. It's another save. Jesus Christ. Are we ever going to score? Rubbles, man. He's phenomenal. Grealish. Back post. Steckland. Right. He's going to get that. Budget Tech. One touch. Shot. Yeah, Davis. He ain't going to score. Here's Steckland Rice. Oh, sorry. Yeah, no. Eric Dyer. Rice. Ake. Corner. And Danny Ings comes off. Gamar Crow come on. So kind of a last hope. Tall man in the box. And Gamar Crow rubbles. What a save. And no West Ham player gets on the rebounds. Corner. Zuma. Seven minutes left to go. Rubbles has been man of the match. We deserve to win this game. And we would be winning if it wasn't all thanks to Rubbles. Dyer. Really oh, big tackle. Big chance and Leeds make it 3 1. Is that Granotti? Now Becker scores. What was that? And it is, uh, yeah, 3 1. We're quicks in the match because we're going to lose, and there you go, we do lose. Sorry, sorry for the guys. Have a good day. Peace out. Bye.